Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. Let's take one more example. It says the radius of a circle is increasing at the rate of 0.7 cm per second. What is the rate of increase of its circumference? So this is our circle and as per question, the radius of the circle is increasing. That is, this circle, this is my radius, the new radius is this guy. And again, I have a new circle here. Correct? That is what the question says. This is my new circle. The dotted circle is the new circle. And this radius is increasing at the rate of 7 cm per second. That is, dr by dt is 7 or oh sorry 0.7 centimeter per second we have to do is we have to find the rate of increase of its circumference please note we have to find the rate of increase of its circumference so we can say that this is nothing but d of circumference by dt what is the following formula of circumference 2 pi r so this is nothing but d of 2 pi r by dt and there is nothing but 2 pi r dr by d. What is the value of dr by dt? 0.7. This becomes 2 pi into 0.7. That is 1.4 pi. This is circumference. So it is centimeter per second. Please note it is centimeter per second because this is circumference and this is time. Correct? This is a very simple question because we have dr by dt and we have to find uh, circumference change with respect to time and we found this. Please note this is independent of r. If any, in any value of r, the value is same because this has no r component. If you see change of area or change of volume, in such case we get this r x component also with this. So those things the rate of change of volume is dependent on the current value of r also but here the rate of change of circumference is independent of r let's take one more example the question says the length of rectangle the length is decreasing at some rate and the width is increasing so both length and width are variable and this is centimeter per minute and we have we are given that x is equal to y, 8 and y is equal to 6 in that case we have to find the rate of change of perimeter and rate of change of area of the circle so this is my square let's suppose and length is x so this becomes x and the width is y so this becomes y both are changing actually x is increasing y is increasing so let's suppose this is my new x this whole thing and this is my new y so my new rectangle is this guy, correct? y plus delta y is new y and x plus delta x is the new x. We need to find the rate of change of perimeter. So the question says we had told that dx by dt, rate of change of x is nothing but 5 centimeter per minute, this is given. The rate of change of y, that is dy by dt, is nothing but 4 cm per minute. This is also given. We have to find the rate of change of perimeter and rate of change of area. So let's take the first case, case 1. We are asked to find rate of change of perimeter with respect to time. What is the value of perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but 2 into x plus 5. Correct? With respect to time. So this is nothing but 2 into dx by dt plus dy by dt. Correct? The, this is nothing but uh, the rectangle is decreasing. So it is 2 into. So if you put this value, since dx by dt is how much? Minus 5. So this is minus 5. My minus 5? Well, it is decreasing. So it is minus 5 centimeter per minute. So this is 2 into minus 5 plus and dy by dt is 
plus 4. Correct? Plus 4. So over this becomes 2 into minus 1 and that is minus 2 centimeter per minute. Why? Because the unit is centimeter per minute, I am talking about perimeter. So perimeter is also in terms of centimeter and the time is in minute. So this is my answer for rate of change of perimeter. Please note how we got this unit was everything is uh, because dx by dt and dy by dt is in centimeter per minute and we are just adding those two so this is minus two centimeter per minute. Let's take the second one area of rectangle. So if you see what you have to find here is d area by dt. Correct. What is the value of area? Area is nothing but x into y. So we have to find dx y by dt. This is nothing but by product rule this is nothing but x into dy by dt plus dx by dt into y. How we got this? We took this constant, differentiated this, we differentiated this, took this constant. Correct? So what is x? The value of x is because this whole thing I am trying to find at x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 6. How? x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 6. This is given. So this is what I have to find. The value of x is 8. So this is 8 into dy by dt. dy by dt is plus 4. Plus 4. Plus dx by dt. dx by dt is nothing but minus 5. Minus 5 into y, y is 6, 6. So this is nothing but 32 minus 30. This is positive 2. And this will be centimeter square per minute. Why? Because this guy is centimeter per minute and this guy is again centimeter. So this becomes centimeter square per minute. Correct? Let's take one more example. A balloon which is always spherical is on inflation and it is being inflated pumping in 900 cubic centimeters of gas per second. You have to find the rate at which radius of the balloon increase when the radius is 15 centimeters. So we have this balloon which is spherical and this is getting inflated that is this whole volume is increasing the new volume is something like this right and it maintains that uh, spherical structure. The drawing is not correct but that's how it is. It is increasing in volume. Correct. Now, the change in volume, if you see, the pumping in 900 cubic centimeter of gas per second, that is dv by dt is 900 centimeter cube per second. Why? Because the extra volume that is getting added every second is 900 centimeter cube. Correct. The volume is inflated using gas and the gas pumping is 900 centimeter cube per second. We have to find the rate at which the radius of the volume is uh, balloon is increasing. That means we have to find dr by dt. Please note, in this case we have to find the value of dr by dt where r is equal to 15 centimeter. So we know that volume is nothing but because this v, right, the first thing we have to do is we have to write this v in terms of r. Correct? Because dr by dt is something you have to find. So v is something we know is nothing but 4 by 3 pi r q. So let's put this value here. So this becomes d of 4 by 3 pi r q by dt is 900. Or if you do uh, differentiate this becomes 4 by 3 pi is again a constant. r q becomes 3 r square and differentiate with t this is dr into dt and this is 900. 3 3 cancel the value of r we know is 15 that put the value of r to be 15 so this becomes 4 pi into 15 into 15 15 square into dr by dt is equal to 9. Now if you find the value of dr by dt you can cancel also if you want or you can just say dr by dt if you solve this you will get this becomes let's suppose 2 this is nothing but 300 15 20 uh, 15 uh, 
टू सॉरी दिस वॉज फोर फिफ्टी एंड फिफ्टीन इन टू फोर फिफ्टी थ्री हंड्रेड अगेन थर्टी एंड दिस गाय गॉन यू गेट टू 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 एवरीथिंग इज कैंसर सो डी आर बाई डी कम्स आउट टू बी वन बाय पाई इट बी सेंटीमीटर पर सेकेंड वाई बिकॉज वी टॉकिंग अबाउट सेकेंड एंड इन सेंटीमीटर करेक्ट लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल अ बैलून विच इज ऑलवेज फेरिकल हैज अ वेरिएबल रेडियस सिमिलर टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन वी टू फाइंड द रेट एट विच वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग विद द रेडियस प्लीज नोट हेयर इन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉट वी हैव डन वी फाउंड डी वी बाई डी टी वाई बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड चेंज ऑफ वॉल्यूम विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम बट इन दिस केस वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेट ऑफ रेट एट विच द वॉल्यूम इज चेंजिंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू रेडियस दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू फाइंड हेयर डी वी बाई डी आर सी द रीजन वाई टू दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज बिकॉज यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड डी वी बाई डी आर और डी वी बाई डी टी इन दिस केस द क्वेश्चन से इज द रेट एट विच द वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग विथ रेडियस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज प्रॉपर इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज प्रॉपर यू कैन सॉल्व क्वेश्चन इजिली एल्स यू गेट कन्फ्यूज इन दिस क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इज वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेट एट विच द वॉल्यूम इज इंक्रीजिंग विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू रेडियस If the question would have been the rate at which the volume is increasing with respect to time, or rate at which the volume is increasing with respect to time, right? So, in that case, we say dv by dt. But here it is dv by dr. So that is something which you will find where r is equal to hundred given. So we know that v is nothing but four by three pi r cube. Same formula will apply here. So d V by d r is nothing but d by d of four by three pi r cube by d r, and that is nothing but four by three into pi into r cube become three r square. Here there is no d r by d t component because I am differentiating r with respect to r. So this is nothing but four pi r square. Put the value of r ten that is becomes four hundred pi, and what will be the unit? Unit will be This becomes volume. Volume becomes centimeter cube by radius is centimeter. So this is nothing but four hundred pi centimeter square, and that is my answer. Please understand the unit carefully. It is four hundred. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.